What's up guys, this is Anime Figure Focus, the channel where we talk about our anime figure collection. My name's Eric. And I'm Amanda. Today we're going to review this figure. Forgive me while I look it up because these names are hard to remember. Sona <laughs> Kasugano? Uh, See, I think you've already said it wrong just by looking no, at it. No, that's what it is. Sora it's, Kasugano. Yeah, but it sounded like you said Sona. <laughs> Sora. <laughs> Kasugano. Sora and Kasugano. its origin is Yusuga no Sora, which is, I don't know what in it is. In solitude... Uh, hold on. <laughs> in solitude, lest we are alone? No. Where we are where least we are, alone. Where we are least alone. <laughs> um, I don't know. See, the thing is... This is one of those, we don't know where it came where from. Where did it come from? We know now, kind of. <laughs> uh, I just read but, my figure collection. So, alright, right. so check it out. The thing is... When I saw the figure on my figure, uh, Ami Ami, I was like, oh my god, do you see this? Do you see this guy, dude? Is First that, off, is that how you sounded? Yeah, that's exactly how I sounded because- <laughs> I don't recall that. But I gotta okay. be careful because she will whoop, fall over her, easily. Her, her hair's got hold. Nah, dude. <laughs> uh, okay, so I had to get it because, oh my god, do you see god, this? God, it's amazing. Oh my god. It's so good. Oh, it doesn't have boobs. What the f***, Eric? You know, <laughs> you can't say that. Beep. Beep. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I probably bleeped that. That's unusual for me, seeing as I'm a big Sonico collector, and it seems like every figure I have is uh, that oriented. Well, you know what I'm saying? The most, but, yeah. Uh, this <laughs> one is just a beautiful figure, though. I mean, That's, just look at yeah, it. It's uh, but before we gush on it, let's talk about the box, which is right here. So anyway, yeah. so what? What? Uh, you, you can just put her somewhere. Anyway, so check out the box. Um, you know what's cool about the box? The illustration is on the box. God, it's so nice. For the art. So, so well printed. Look it's how like beautiful, beautiful this dude. is. And the thing god. about it is, god, that's some good illustration. It really it? is. I want to have that like in I a want frame this kimono, or something dude. and like I want to wear that you, because mm, that might be a little what? offensive. I suggest you probably offensive. Don't. It's beautiful. I mean, what I, can guys not wear kimonos, dude? Come on. I have no what? clue. I mean, I'm offensive. Just gonna... Come on, this is 2019. We don't get offended. <laughs> So check yeah, it out. Yeah, we get very offended in 2019. I don't get offended. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm, okay. The whole world is surrounded by So check by it out. <laughs> box is nice. I mean, it's kind of like your typical anime figure box where you have a nice opening in the front. Right. You got little cutouts on this side, which is nice. You got details on the back and then illustration on the side. It's such a pretty box. It's a very beautiful God. box for a beautiful figure. Yes. And with that, let's move on to the figure. The main course. Ooh. Just kidding. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I've already had her, like, kind of tip over once, and I about died. Because I was like, I will buy her again if she breaks. <laughs> <laughs> so, check it out. Beautiful figure. Uh, it's one-seventh scale, and the hair... Like, here's the thing. This kimono, I have to say... God. Oh, so The good. shining star. Like... It, it, yeah, it's, it's glistening because it's a great kimono. <laughs> you can see it's got a really nice print to it, God, like on so the pretty. sides. Um, the the edges kind of have this silver look to it, the flowers or whatever yeah. that's on them. It's like really nice. It's so super flowy. Nice. The way that it just flows off of the bench, it's like yeah, it's God. super super pretty. She's, she's holding. She's it. holding it up. It's got really nice folds and stuff. Like that's one thing I really love, is. Um, whenever clothes like fold and flop and do clothes things, right. but on an anime figure and well done. Yeah, when it looks like it's legit. Sometimes it's like it's like they're trying to make it look like that, but it just. I doesn't. don't know what it is, but ever since like doing like um, cloth simulation with Blender and stuff, like mm. seeing cloth, like you could throw up a video of like cloth sim and just have a cloth drop on a sphere, and I'm just like, Ugh! it's like that with this, but like it's like the edges of the uh, the bench here just like nice folds. And then like you can see all of that here, um, how it's folding really cool. Right. Like, just look at that, man. How it's like- God, I know. Super, it's super, super nice. It's so good, like. And the shading, like look at the shading. Look at the shading. <laughs> just look at the uh, shading in my here. Stopped. It's like really nice. And you know what's the best part about it is like white is hard to shade well. Uh, and yeah, this is kind of great. like a silvery white yeah. kimono. And it is so, Good. And even the detail underneath. Like, they put little yeah. flowers underneath the kimono. Yeah, I know. On the inside. On the inside. It's like, Dang. God, the attention to detail on this one is just... 
Yeah, it's fantastic. God. So that's the thing. It's just so good that, you know, I'm just like um, in love with it. Mm -hmm. I, and I, I definitely fell in love. Love at first sight. Um, but moving on to the back of the kimono because, and I have to be very slow here. Oh, the back is like so good too. As you can see, and I didn't get to see the front until now, so I'll talk about that in a minute. But look how you have the, um, I don't know what this is called, but it's like a bow thing, right? Well, it's um, a bow. It's a bow. But I don't know if it's got an actual name term for... Regarding the kimono. Regarding a kimono. But, but that's like really nice too. It's like, it's a, so, it's like a dark it's gray. It's falling. It's falling. It's, it's got like, the um, really nice details. It's so pretty. In it. Um... And it's just so good. It's it's got depth. It's oh, it's just everything. I know. It's everything. Really? And the front, like back to the front. Now that I'm looking at it, like just look at this, Amanda, because like, wow, the way it's like wrapped around her, and it's like you have so many layers here. I you know. You have that top bit. You have like that middle bit that's tied, and you have like a little um, like the little ribbon, tied up ribbon and knot. Situation. And it's not just one color. It's white and black, and it's. I know. It's really good. I mean, it could be probably painted a little bit better because yeah, like there's a little bit. Yeah, but I mean, bit. to be fair, like those are some really thin, it small It still looks strands. fantastic. And for what it is, it looks really good. I'm not going to complain about it because it's right. so good. Um, she even has a little fan because obviously, you know, if you're hot, you got to fan yourself off. And she's definitely And you got to lift up your kimono. Yeah, you got to let I'm out that I'm a little heat. hot. <laughs> So the fan looks really nice. It's got a pattern on it as well, and it's not boring one shade. It's got several shades, even amongst the different grooves. You have different gradients, uh, different colors, and it looks good on both sides. Uh, it has like even a little ribbon um, tassel thing mm -hmm. coming off, and the tassel isn't just a flat color either. You can even see here, they have right. gray on it. Yeah. So they, they went as far as to color the tassel bits. <laughs> Uh, just a little bit, not much, but just a little bit, just enough to give it some detail. And since the camera's looking at it, we can move on to the hair, which is really nice, long, flowy hair, kind of up in a, uh, like a ponytail. And it just looks great. I really love it. I love the flow, uh, the strands. I think it looks really mm -hmm. nice. And then- I, I did hope that it was, I mean, or I did, you know, think that I wish it was a little bit thicker hair but I guess it makes sense because she's kind of small in general she's kind of petite yeah so like having like the thinner hair I feel like looks better yeah, it's for her. fine I think yeah. it looks good for her it could be sometimes like hair is very voluminous I don't know how to volume there's a lot of volume to hair sometimes and then mm. sometimes there's not like this one just doesn't have a lot of volume I think it's just a stylistic choice yeah um, I mean, let's look at the illustration and just kind of see how we feel. Uh, does it reflect the illustration? I mean, yeah. I think it does. It does. I think it reflects it really well. So mm -hmm. regarding the stylistic choice, I think they hit the nail on the head mm -hmm. here to match the illustration. Right. Uh, the bow that's holding the hair together, um, it's just as nice, if not nicer than the bow on the kimono. It just looks nice and Nice and thick and pillowy. <laughs> that one definitely has some volume to it. Mm -hmm. Like the one on the kimono is pretty thin, but this one has like it's got like, mm -hmm. you know. It's, I feel like I could just. Mm, it's got that like thick, squish it. <laughs> yeah, it's got that thick bonus to it. <laughs> and bonus. It, and you even have the, the 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 two different color strings here at the top too. Right. Uh, Which are also together. not painted the best, but again, they're super thin, so it, it, like I get it. It's fine. You gotta have a su super steady hand. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't paint that well. I could, but it would be a nightmare. But anyway, yeah, I mean, everything about it is just really good. I do want to mention one last thing, which is um, the layers in the kimono. Like here, it, look at the kind of like um, upper chest area. How like you have literally like folds uh, within the kimono mm -hmm. here. Like this has two, this has two, and then the base layer. Right. It just looks like really good and it kind of goes all the way up into the back it's just uh the kimono itself is just so good that i'm in love with it and i think it looks yeah, great yeah and then the multiple layers obviously you can see down below also like she's got the two layers here yeah you know you can see it from the side over here exactly um, and now that we're back at the front though like for me bringing that up her 
God, what do you call those well, sandals? I don't know I'm the name sh- for I'm them. I'm sure there's some name for them, but they're basically sandals but with they socks. Look, they look fantastic, though. Like, they even have detail on the straps, which is like... Yeah, oh, it's they have just like same one more thing. Gray and the, the the flowers on the straps. And the socks, like in the back, it's all creasing. Mm-hmm. Like they're bunching up in the back, and yeah. that's just like. If you oh haven't my God. noticed by now, we're we're just in love with this figure from every it's perspective. It's so good. The 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 kimono is on uh, is really great. The coloring is really great. The fingers sculpt, uh, those are really Fantastic. nice. The fingernails are painted, those look really good. The hair in the front looks really good. This piece of hair comes Ooh. off, by the way. Oh, it's does it actually? It's super off? delicate. I was yeah. gonna say, I didn't know it actually came off. I was about it to does. say, you gotta be careful, it might fall off, no, but it seems like it, I, it's yeah, stuck it in there like and it's very it okay. scary. But, you yeah. know, because you can kind of angle it or whatever. Um, oh, okay. But yeah, That's I don't cool. know how it's supposed to be angled. I have to look it up. But anyway, super delicate, and I, you have to assemble it. It's fine. Um, but yeah, everything, even the face is really nice. Like I think that the cool thing about this is all the colors kind of work together. Right. And it's like all kinds of different blacks, grays, and whites. Mm-hmm. Even her eyes. Like even the you were eyes. Bringing up her face. Yeah. Um, everything just kind of fits together really nice. And I guess we'll talk about one last thing, which is just the bench. The bench. Um, and, and just to kind of take her off of it. Yeah, um, she, see, yeah, that hair is holding on Yeah, you gotta watch tight. out. So the hair actually comes on separate. So you're probably supposed to take it off first, but whatever. Uh, the bench is huh. basically just a wood. It's a plastic bench made to look like wood. Yeah. And I mean, it's nothing really special. In fact, I kind of wish it was heavier because uh, she- I mean, it's pretty heavy. I feel that. I mean, for what it is. I, it could be more just because right. she's so kind of top heavy that like you you could easily knock her over and it's just something to be kind of aware of. I do um, want to say too because Shiki itchy nose. Yeah. <laughs> like with her chair, I know we were, I was talking about how the wood didn't really look like wood. Right. The shading was just like so, like right. it wasn't flat, but it was it did not look like wood at all. But this yeah. this looks like wood. You think so? Yes. Like, I mean, it's obviously just paint. Like, they did a quick little, like, maybe like... No, it's true. Actually, if you look into it, you it can almost looks, see a little bit of a shading there. It looks like like wood grain. Yeah. Like, it's really well done, so... Yeah. No, it's not bad. I think it it's good enough. And it even says on the bottom, this is the front. So, put it like that, and then I will try and delicately... Yeah, that hair is... there. Um... Oh, okay, oh, God. clipped into place. So, Ooh. stressful. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap up the video. Mm-hmm. In summary, we love this figure. I uh, bought it on Ami on me because I loved it just by the look. It's, it's a figure you fall in love with. I have a thing for any kind of like uh, figure that has an accessory, whether it be a chair, a mm-hmm. bench in this case. Could Holding be, a fan. Uh, could, yeah, anything like that. Um, just to kind of make it a little bit interesting. And this one's right. just... It's so well done. Highly recommend it. <laughs> All right, guys, that's been our review of Sora Kasagano. Um, it's a great figure. And did I even say who made it? Who makes it? Alpha Max. Alpha Max, if I didn't say it before. But anyway, that's been our review. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a like in the uh, thing below and subscribe if and you want to see more <laughs> whatever videos like this one. Um, Leave a comment if you are interested in uh, telling us how this figure is or giving us some feedback, whatever, do that. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.